Hello and welcome to the Philippines. Today I'll be talking about uh, travel. Uh, do you require vaccinations to travel to the Philippines? I'll show you how to find out if you need vaccinations to travel to other countries as well. Uh, what vaccinations are recommended if you travel to the Philippines or other countries? I will show you uh, how to find the prices of many different uh, drugs, prescription and non-prescription drugs in the Philippines, as well as where to find uh, what uh, locations have th those drugs at the cheapest prices. Uh, the reason I decided to do this video uh, primarily was because I had a friend recently, a young friend who was working here in the Philippines, uh, who came down with pneumonia. And he was complaining to me about a cough that he couldn't get rid of. He took a week off. He went up to a, an island, a Bantayan Island, uh, thought he'd get some clear air and it would clean his lungs out and uh, came back and it was even worse. I strongly suggested he go see a doctor. I didn't hear from him for a week and I just found out that he was diagnosed with pneumonia. And uh, so he will be taking, uh, recovering from that for another week or two. And uh, here in the last year, I also have at least eight other friends here, expats and travelers who I know who have had pneumonia. And one was in the hospital about 11 days, about 42,000 pesos cost him. So I uh, strongly recommend that you deal with these issues early on. And anyway, let's get to the couple of sites I'm going to show you, give you some of the information you will be interested in. First off, uh, take you over to the Republic of the Philippines Department of Health Drug Price Watch. And I have not uh, double-checked or verified the information here, but uh, it's a place to compare prices across drug stores near you. And when you open the site and try to do a search, uh, it will ask you uh, if you allow them to uh, view your location. And uh, I think uh, I, I tried a couple times not to let them view my location. I just, I don't like giving out any information I don't have to, but they use your location in determining uh, where the drug stores are, the pharmacies are in your area, and the prices in that area for the drug that you're looking for. So I know many of you are on prescription drugs and you will, uh, should find this site useful, especially comparing to what you're paying in your home country. Uh, anyway, this is just an example. What drug are you looking for? And uh, this particular one, uh, I chose it off of, a, off of a list and I put in your location, Cebu City, Cebu, the Philippines. You come down here, you click, find your drug. And then you scroll down, it shows you a map. And you can use the, on a Windows machine, control and a scroll to uh, move in and out. Uh, but here it gives you some of the information on, uh, I, I think this is a pneumonia vaccine. Not absolutely positive, but I, I looked at a couple others that I thought were similar and uh, didn't give me any information. So this gives me the name of South Star Drug, which I've just started seeing them here in Cebu City. Maybe they've been here before, but they're in the new... Uh, they're in Robinson's Supermarket, Fuente Circle, and they're in Robinson's, uh, I believe they're in Robinson's uh, at uh, the new Galleria, too, which is between SM Seaside Mall, and, or not, SM uh, Cebu City Mall and the downtown area. And gives you the price per, per pill, I believe. And I'm sure that you can find these... Uh prescription medications at other stores as well, other pharmacies uh, in the Philippines, but those companies have not uh, provided the information to this government site, so they don't come up on the map, but gives you an idea of pricing anyway. Ibuprofen, 200 milligram uh, 
tablet is pretty common, Advil type, but this would, I'm sure they're giving us the prices for generics. And come down here, Robinson Super Supermarket. Advil, they give the price of 85. I believe that would probably be a package of 10. I believe there's 10 in that package. That's usually about what I pay for Advil. And uh, come down here, Medical. I think that is a generic based on the price. It certainly sounds like a major. Uh, so five, pay, five and a half pesos a piece times 10 would be 55 pesos for 10 there. So uh, 35 or 35 pesos less than the Advil. And Midol, 10.25. There again, I believe that would be per pill. Penicillin. And I'll just pick one of these. Find your drug. And there again, gives me information there, but I'm not sure. But that is a place I just found today. That is a place to uh, try to check your, your pricing. So you want to know the cost of living. You want to know what your medical uh, prescriptions will cost here in the Philippines. Check out that site. It's a government site and seems to be fairly easy to use if you have the proper spelling of your uh, particular prescription, you, or even over the counter, even I, I brought up uh, aspirin. It has many right. items. So we're going to start at uh, CDC, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in the uh, USA. And they have quite a bit of information on uh, diseases and uh, lots of different items. Anyway, we're over here on destinations, and they have a, a link for travelers or for clinicians. And we can go, we can select a country probably pretty important to do if that's what we want to find and we'll go up here to Philippines and uh, optional you can tell them what kind of traveler you are if you're with children if you have chronic disease your cruise ship extended stay which I am so I've marked it extended stay uh, immune compromised people uh, your admission disaster relief visiting family and friends. Anyway, click the go button. And that brings us to the Philippines and more specific information. And you can do that obviously for any of the countries that you want to travel to. And uh, one thing I was a little bit surprised at, they come down here to vaccinations and medicines. Uh, they start with all travelers. Measles is something, if you've been paying attention to the news, you know that uh, there's some areas in the Philippines that have some measles outbreaks, uh, but also in other parts of the world, measles seems to be making a comeback, uh, partly because of world traveling, people traveling all over the world, and uh, some countries, they are not Im immunized against that uh, type of thing. So measles seems to be making a comeback. And if you haven't been... Uh, immunized before. If you haven't had shots or if you haven't had measles, uh, you can read more about uh, the information. Uh, the Philippines does not require vaccinations if you're from the USA, Australia, Canada, many, much of Europe, unless you've been to a country that has yellow fever. If you've been to a country that has yellow fever, that would include most countries in Africa, I believe, uh, a big chunk of uh, South America, and uh, part of Central America. I think primarily the eastern part, the, the part east of the Panama Canal, uh, has uh, yellow fever uh, problems. In, and uh, if you had a Panama stamp on your passport and you tried to enter uh, the Philippines, they might pull you aside and question you about that. Uh, most travelers, uh, one thing I was surprised, they did not list the dengue fever. Dengue is one of the most common uh, infections here in the Philippines spread by 
mosquitoes and uh, more prevalent during the wet months, which we've just gone into, and places where you have stagnant water where mosquitoes can breathe. Breed. Uh, anyway, they list hepatitis A, which is can be spread through contaminated food or water. Whether you're staying, regardless of where you're staying, whether it's a high end or low end, you can have uh, contaminated water and or food. And I'm sure you've all heard and read about instances in the U.S. and, and parts of Europe uh, where restaurants have had to shut down to uh, clean their facilities because they've had an outbreak of hepatitis A. Uh, typhoid, again, through contaminated food or water. I haven't heard much about that, but uh, if you're visiting smaller cities, rural areas, uh, you're the adventurous eater. Uh, they recommend that you get the typhoid vaccine as well. Uh, hepatitis B can be contacted uh, through contaminated food and water as well as sexual contact, contaminated needles, uh, blood products, uh, uh, tattoos could be a source for that. And uh, I believe that there is a combination hepatitis shot. Uh, hepati it includes hepatitis A, B, maybe C, not absolutely positive, but you could ask your uh, clinic or physician about that. Japanese encephalitis. Uh, they strongly re recommend you get that. Again, if you're traveling uh, out of uh, some of the metro areas where you're going to see more uh, mosquitoes, Malaria, uh, there are some uh, anti-malaria pills you can take. The, 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 my understanding is that uh, the malaria virus, and I'm not, using, I'm not sure if I'm using the correct terminology, but uh, that changes rapidly and uh, they have to keep coming up with new, and I don't, I don't think it's a, ma a vaccine, it's more of a preventative measure. It helps build up your immunity or something similar to that, I believe, not actually a vaccine. And you have to take it uh, not just before you travel, but I think even after you return home, you're supposed to continue. Uh, and there again, it's going to depend upon the current preferred uh, shot for that type of issue. Rabies, I've uh, kind of covered that in past issues. Uh, Animals, uh, dogs, bats, cats, uh, other mammals uh, can, can spread that. Uh, the dogs here don't seem, and cats, uh, often wild. They're roaming the streets, roaming the neighborhoods. They don't seem aggressive. Uh, and you might be tempted to reach down and pet them, at which time they will become very defensive. They might nip you. I know a number of cases where uh, pets have bitten neighbors, and uh, they've had to take their child or the person to get the rabies shots. And my understanding is that uh, those shots are not as painful as they were when I was growing up. Although I never had rabies shots, uh, I think they were very painful, and you got them in, in, in your stomach. Uh, but something to consider. Yellow fever. Uh, there again, you do not have to get a yellow fever shot unless you've been to an area that is known to have yellow fever. does not include the U.S., uh, Europe, most of that, and you can come down here if you want to know which countries are risk of yellow fever. You can click this link down here. It will take you to maps and lists of those countries. Yellow fever vaccine availability in the United States is currently limited. If you need to be vaccinated, you may need to travel some distance and schedule your appointment in advance. Here's some information I received from a friend who knows Dr. Giselle Gaviola. I've met her a couple of times. Uh, she helped set up the Mayo Medical Center, and she's now the medical director at My Health Clinics. Two of them here in town, and uh, I understand that they have the pneumonia vaccination at 1,600 pesos, the shingles vaccination 3,000 pesos, both available and uh, not always uh, easy to find those. Uh, so it's nice to know that they are available. Anyway, you can, uh, they're at Robinson Cybergate location, 
which is uh, near Fuentes Mina Circle, and uh, Robinson's Galleria, which is uh, the new mall closer to the downtown area. You can contact them through their website or their Facebook page. And as I've said, I know at least eight people here in the Philippines, uh, a couple younger people, middle-aged people, and uh, several expats, retired expats, who have had uh, pneumonia in the last year. And uh, several of them had to spend uh, a week or longer in the hospital, and some were treated outside the hospital, uh, but can be prevented and uh you might want to lower your risk uh, through vaccinations. Here we're still on the CDC, Centers for Contro uh, Disease Control site, and uh, there's information about vaccine, and some of the vaccines can have some side effects. Uh, I know I had really bad side effects uh, like back in the 70s when I had a flu shot. I think it was about the sickest I ever had, I ever was, uh, and uh, different people react to these things differently. But uh, there's some information here. And down here, uh, a little more detailed information. Uh, if you get a dose of uh, this particular vaccine first, then you get a dose of the second vaccine at least one year later. If you've already received the second shot, then you should get the first shot. I don't know why you would do that, but do it in reverse. Maybe some doctors had that type of information. If you've already received a dose of the PCV13 at a younger age, CDC does not recommend another dose of the same vaccine, I presume. presume. But you should get the uh, that second one is what they're saying, PPSV23. And these things can change over time, too, as, as vaccines change, as diseases change a little bit. And I think vac uh, pneumonia in the Philippines, among Filipinos, is number four. Fourth reason for death of Filipinos. And uh, I think uh, heart disease is first. I think cancer is second. I think injuries are third. And uh, pneumonia is fourth. And I think it is, uh, has become a, a, a very, one of the major killers of expats here as well. And this is interesting, causes and types of pneumonia. This is basically uh, about the pneumonia types in the U.S. But uh, anyway, viruses, bacteria, and fungi can all cause pneumonia. And it talks about the different types in the United States. And there's community acquired, where you develop in the community, and hospital health care associated pneumonia uh, that you can get. And uh, different types of pneumonia is what I've read here. Another vaccination you might consider strongly, and I know a couple people who have had this, and they tell me it's very painful, and that's what this article says. We're still on uh, the CDC, uh, Centers for Con Disease Control site, Shingles is a painful rash that usually develops on one side of the body, often the face or torso. Blisters, scabs, uh, over in 7 to 10 days, it'll clear up within 2 to 4 weeks, but uh, feels like an intense burning sensation for some people. Uh, the pain can last for months or years after the rash goes away. So they, there is a vaccine for that, two different vaccines that are licensed. My disclaimer is that I am not a doctor, nor do I play one on television. Uh, I will probably get uh, the shingles vaccine, pneumonia vaccine, especially after what I've seen with so many people here in the Philippines. Uh, and at some point in time, I'll probably get the hepatitis A and B at least, and I'll check out the hepatitis C as well. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like the video, share the video, please subscribe. Safe travels to you all wherever you're at, and I'll see you next time.